Hey guys, so the Bible says in the book of Colossians to always have your conversation seasoned with salt, right? So, and full of grace. So whenever we are talking to other people, whenever we are conversing, and it can be everyday situations, everyday conversations, are you sprinkling in salt? Are you showing grace? You know, and I know that, you know, like that can be maybe a complicated question, right? Or maybe it's like, wait, how do I do that? Well, I think it's pretty simple, right? Whenever we look at other people's conversations, a lot of times, you know, like they, they're talking about things that are in more of a selfish way. And they're talking about things that are happening to them, the way that they experience something. And whenever I read this scripture, I can see that if we want to have conversations or if we want to interact with people and be full of grace and season it with salt, we have to act like Jesus. And whenever we think about Jesus, Jesus didn't do anything on his own. He did the things that he saw God do. And so he wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about the others. He was thinking about those that he was talking to. And he was thinking about God the Father. In the same way, our conversations, if you want them to be full of grace and seasoned with salt, then we have to have our mind on the person that we are with. And we have to also have our mind on God. And so I just want to encourage you to take that into consideration next time you're having a conversation um, whether it be with a believer or an unbeliever you, having that conversation just recognize them see them and see God and see how you can you know just use that knowledge and it should naturally flow out of you of oh wow okay I'm connecting the dots here and what you're really doing is connecting that person to God so I just pray that you go out, have conversations that are full of grace and seasoned with salt. Thanks for taking a minute.